Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here's my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look, each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world. My core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith, and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a, a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am author and addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and minister, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version if you go to YouTube on your channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Listen to us on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Google Music, Amazon Music, and many other digital formats. Folks, this morning, beautiful morning again. And you know what? Don't invest in your past. Invest in your future. Where you're headed is more important, listen to me, is more important than where you've been. That is in your rearview mirror. Your best days are still ahead, I promise you. And together, we can make a difference in this world with the message of God's hope and God's love each and every day. In the scripture, When Job was in the uh, middle of uh, loss and heartache, it looked like he had seen his best days. Everything had gone totally wrong. But God said to him, I will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. This was in chapter 8. And things didn't turn around until chapter 42. From 8 to 42, things continued on that same thing. I can imagine Job sitting in the ashes, discouraged, thinking about all that had gone wrong throughout his life. He was tempted to feel sorry for himself like many of us do. He was tempted to give up on life like we all have probably done. But then he remembered what God promised. He's going to fill my mouth with laughter. When that uh, test was over, Job came out with twice what he had before. Listen, God has given you another day, if you're listening or watching to me, to be alive. Another day of 86,400 seconds to live of life today to enjoy your family another 86,400 seconds today to live uh, 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 for new possibilities another 86,400 seconds today to pursue your dreams to go after your goals 86,400 seconds if you're listening and watching me sometimes we let the pressures of life the traffic What somebody might have said, a challenge at work, just affect us, keep us from enjoying the day that we have today. We think it's just another ordinary day, but there's no such thing as an ordinary day. Every day is a gift from the Almighty God. Every day he gives us 86,400 seconds. So even if God never does anything else for you, my friends, and I know he will anyway, he's still been so good to you and never forget that. 
reach out at 844-405 help together you and i we can help each other take our lives back be good to yourselves and always be good to each other remember simple smart to anyone can change their day and it can make a difference in your day too god has blessed you if you're watching or listening to me right now Eighty-six thousand four hundred seconds to live Let's concentrate on today and tomorrow and leave the past behind because the past is gone, but tomorrow's ahead, and today we enjoy what God has given you. May God bless each and every one of you, and have a great life with Jesus Christ in your life. Take good care, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.